Hello students, welcome to class, welcome to Chori Maths. I'm going to be working out this statistics question to find the mean, the harmonic mean, and the geometric mean. So let's start with the first, which is the mean. Now to find the mean, we need to know the formula for mean. So mean is equals to summation fx all over summation f. So you see, in this case, we are going to need our f column, which is the frequency. It has been given to us already. Then we need to get the x column, and we need to get the fx column. So let's get it now. Now we have everything there, but we need to know what is x. x is known as mid value. And how do we find it? You are going straight to the class interval, then pick the upper class interval and the lower in class interval, add it and divide by 2. For example, the first one is 1 and 10, so it is 1 plus 10, then divide by 2, which is 11 divided by 2, which is 5.5. So here is going to be 5.5. The next, if you do it, is going to be 15.5. Now, if you check, there's a trend here because the class width of the class interval is actually equal, which is 10, 10, 10, all true. So you can just be adding 10 to save your time. So this is going to be 25.5, 35.5, and so on. Now, since we have this, we need to fill our fx column. fx means what is in the column f multiplied by what is in the column x. So, 4 times 5.5, uh, we're going to get 22. Okay? And uh, 5 times 15.5 is 77.5. The next, you are going to get 20, uh, 229. Point five, and it goes on now this is what i have but don't forget we said the mean is summation fx all over summation f so therefore what we need to do now is to find summation f and summation fx adding this with calculator we have 50 as our answer then adding this with calculator, we have 1810. So what we are going to do now is to actually find the mean, which now the mean will be summation fx is 1810 all over summation f, which is 50. Now this will give us answer as 36 point two so this is our mean so we are done with mean then let's move quickly to find our harmonic mean the harmonic mean now we have our class intervals and our frequency as usual for us to find the harmonic mean we must know the formula for harmonic mean now, the formula for harmonic mean using the abbreviation HM is equals to summation F all over summation into F over X. Now, from this formula, you could see that we need the column for F over X. And we need the column for x so this is our x and this is our f over x but if you can remember we found x already in the previous question so let us fill it in here is 5.5 here is um 15.5 and the list goes on now how do we get f over x of course from the expression you pick the value, for example, let me use the first one, it's going to be 4 over 5.5. And you know 4 over 5.5 will give you 0 0.7273. So it means that this column is 0 0.7273. 
Now the next one is 5 over 15.5, which will be 0 0.3226. The next will be 0 0.3529. You have to be careful doing this so that you don't make any mistake. So I'll fill in the rest. Now we've gotten the column F over X and everything is set. Of course, we've done this already, finding the summation F. This is 50. And from the formula, we need to find summation F over X, which is this. And our answer will be 2.1224 using calculator. So we we'll move quickly to now find the solution this will now be summation f is 50 all over 2.1224 now dividing this you are going to have 23.558 so approximately our answer is 23.6 that is to one decimal place so this is how to find the harmonic mean of a group data then we we'll move to find the geometric mean to find the geometric mean i'm going to use the same table because the formula is simple and contains some of the things that we use in harmonic mean so geometric mean having the abbreviation gm is actually equals to the antilock of summation f into log of x all over summation f. Now, from this formula, you agree with me that we are going to need the column for log of x, log of x then we need column for f into log x now without any waste of time we'll move to find log of x we have x already so the first column to get it will be log of 5.5 and using calculator to find log of 5.5 it will give you 0.7404 so it therefore means that the first thing on this column is 0 0.7404. The second is log of 15.5, which is 1.1903. The next is log of 25.5, which is 1.4065. Now, continuously, we are going to have so the column of log of x has been filled. The next one is to now multiply it by f. So 4 times 0 0.4, 0 0.7404 will give us 2.9616. Then 5 times 1.1903 will give us 5.9515. The next is 9 times 1.4065, which will give us 12.6585. Now we have everything. So what we need to do is to find the sum of this because in the formula it requires that we have the sum of this. Which, using calculator to add, we are going to get 74.6068. Now, we we'll move quickly to now find our uh, geometric mean. Now, remember, this is the formula. So, my GM will now be antilog. Antilog of what we have here is summation f log x is 74.6068 all over summation f which we've calculated to be 50. Now this is what we have. So we are going to now use our calculator further. 
so that we have our gm is equals to the antilog antilog of dividing this you are going to have 1.4921 now antilog of 1.4921 will be uh 31.0527 then to one decimal place this is going to be 31.1 so we now have our answer we've succeeded in calculating the mean the geometric mean now on the screen then we found the harmonic mean which is 23.6 then finally, we have our mean, which is 36.2. Thank you for watching. I want to believe you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to pass your comment. Thank you and bye-bye.